Hello. One. Hello. Can you hear? Oh, are you? Are we all? Oh, you, you mute, Des. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let me just see. No. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. Can't hear anybody. Oh, I I'm here. Hello, and can he Sally not see you? Oh, uh, no, I didn't put my video on. I turned the volume down earlier. <laughs> you turned the volume down, you couldn't hear us? Yeah, yeah. What you want? Right, okay. <laughs> Sally's doing happened. secret squirrel. <laughs> I've just realised I've got headphones that fit my phone but don't fit me MacBook. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, you've got your video off. Yeah, she didn't I, want to be seen. No, I, well, I just thought I'd, <laughs> I'd want the whole screen for the, the presentation. I just have it with the, I don't know, the you person share that's the talking. Screen. You share the screen. Oh, well, there you go. I don't know, do I? The way they do it in, swin in the civic voice thing is that you, um, you go to the talker sort of thing Ooh. and just have that on the screen. No, no, you, you know, should we, you should have your video on and it all just goes to a gallery and then we, we share the screen with Richard. All right. No, right. Well, there's, a, there's a speaker view, isn't there? Yeah. You, you know. Right. Who have we got? I got troubles with Marilyn. Let me just get her again. Where's the link? Oh, oh who's that? <laughs> that can actually cause big, big problems for your lungs. 120 metres into their grasshopper mine. The tunnel rats are carrying out safety checks. What on earth is that? I don't know. Somebody's got something on the background. On the TV, yeah. <laughs> Talk about this. Turn up, please. God. <laughs> yeah. Have some light in me. <laughs> Hiya. Oh, hello, Marilyn. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Your hair's looking a lot better than mine. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, very scary hair now. Not mine today. I cut the sides today. Oh, no, mine's still long at the back. Mine's completely getting past it now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a hair appointment as well. Do you like to sit? work from home? I'm going to sneak an appointment next week. Yeah, can you? Can you do Ooh. that? There's Marilyn, brilliant. Phew. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> so, we've not got Richard yet, which is slightly disturbing. <laughs> I thought to me, he rang me, but I didn't hear the phone because I was in the car uh, with my daughter. We've been right. westering so, today. Where are you, Angela? Are you at home? Or are you in? No, I'm in Claygate. Oh, okay. Um, because when Joy suggested, oh, you could come for a few days, you know, now you're allowed to bubble. Because I went, oh, no, I can't because we've got a Swin and Civic voice talk. And I went, oh, it's virtual. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Uh, so I still can. Um, let me get a gallery view. Okay, we've got Anne. Hello, Anne. Jo. Hello. Jess. Oh, let me, uh... oh yeah, they've, they've muted themselves. Thank you for joining us. We're, so, we're waiting on, on with uh, uh, Richard. <laughs> Hi there, it's Jo Hutchings here. Hello, um, Jo. Hello, I'm the one from Oldbourne. Oh, hello, Jo, thanks for coming. That's all right. Oh, I'm um, scanning, that's Richard, hang on. Let me let, okay. let, let, me let Richard in, that would be good. Let in, that'd be good. <laughs> Oh, Elizabeth's iPad. Mm, jolly good. Hello, Richard. Hello, Elizabeth. Ah, there we go. Richard and Sam have serious brain problems. Right, somebody's got a TV on in the background. I haven't. Not me. Somebody Not me. has. I'll oh, plug no, myself in. I've got something running in the background. Hello, Richard. Can you hear me? Hello. Oh, hello. Right. <laughs> got the speaker. That's the main thing. 
<laughs> right, so has everybody done this before? No. No. Um, who was that that said no? Joe. Anne. Oh, well, Joe Hutchings. Right, Joe. No, Anne. Anne. Oh, and Anne, Anne Blackett. Hello, Anne. Hello. Um, oh, Mary Jones, hang on. This this could be chaos then. Hey ho. <laughs> it's only Zoom talk, not it's nice that. chaos though. It's nice to see somebody, isn't it? Even if it is on the screen. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um Joe and Jess and Anne, you've got your video turned off. I mean that's up to you, you can. Although does that stop you then seeing the presentation? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It shouldn't do no, it shouldn't do. No, it shouldn't do. No, but anyway, we'll see how we'll obviously if it's yours, then just turn your video on. Mary, hello. Yes, hello. Hello. I did it on purpose because I'm eating. <laughs> you couldn't share it with us. I'm looking at my tea. There's my tea look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a roast beef sandwich with um red wine, soaked in red wine and something else. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's right place, then. <laughs> five minutes yeah. if anybody yeah. else comes along i think nice. this is about everybody is it joe no we have got maggie kelly and keith oh, of was uh who else have we got okay, also like um, them. yeah we've still got about four or five others, okay I think. well maggie tried to do it last night <laughs> oh bless her cotton yeah <laughs> oh bless her I, I, which panicked me because i thought oh I didn't schedule the wrong day, did I? No, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm waiting for about ten more. Another ten? Oh my goodness. Uh, it's like bingo, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll warm up for Richard by playing a game bingo. <laughs> In that case, I'll turn the sign off. Oh, oh. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so Richard, it's, got, it's not too long, is it, you talk? About 20 minutes? It's about, it's about 18, 18 minutes. Which is just about now. <laughs> That's just about fine. If anybody has any questions, if you can see in, in the status bar at the bottom, can you see where it says chat? No, no, no. You need to put okay, your mouse hover, down. Hover your mouse over the bottom of your screen. Down to the bottom, underneath where you are. On the oh, screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's in the middle. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's like there's a, a speech thing called chat. Thing. What am I looking at? Chat. Chat, yeah. So anybody, if anybody's got, got any questions, just type it in there. And it'll stay there and then we can go through them at the end. Okay. Oh, Joe Hutchings has found it. Well done, Joe. There you go, you see. <laughs> So yeah, so as, as if you think of anything while Richard's talking, just type it in there rather than interrupting or anything like that. Type it well, in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. As I was say, it's a pre-recorded thing anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, do that and then once Ooh. Richard's finished, then we can Hello. work through it and answer. Hello. Hello. You get a pen. Hello. Hi, Mr. Graham. <laughs> Ms. Graham and Julie, hello. 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 Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. Good start. Oh, exciting, slow, stroke, terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not? Oh, Simon Webb, of course, forgot about Simon, yeah. yeah. So can I go on to gallery view now? Will that give you me what you want? Yeah, because once we share the screen, it'll automatically. Oh, that, yeah, okay. You okay. know, do that. The, oh, Linda, of course, I forgot about yeah. Linda. Good evening. Hello, Simon. Hello, Simon. Hello. Simon. Hello. <laughs> Another technical. Hello. Expert, like a technical expert. In case Hello. That then. <laughs> Hello, Linda. Hello. I just I've got the um, headphones here, but they're for my phone. They don't work on my laptop because it's right. the wrong connector. Hello, Linda. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Well, I think so anyway. Apart from and you're, in, you're in Claygate. I am in Claygate, yes. Julie and I have been really a bit to East Wittering today. Mm. The walk on the beach. Oh, lovely. Very windswept it was. Mm. Yeah, Millie the cheated, yeah. Millie uh, cheated with the paddling. She had her Wellingtons on. She's been <laughs> chucking it down here. Um, <laughs> so it yeah, was it. here all morning and it picked it was better over over that end I have to say at, at East Wittering it was a bit better or was it West Wittering one of them anyway 
All oh, right. One of the witterings. Mm. It's all very nice over there, very windswept and unspoiled. I think I used to have holidays there at the witterings. Not, not in a, a, not in a, a converted a railway thing. carriage. All oh, right. Yeah, it's great. Because it had all the doors still with all the scraps on the windows and everything on. So what, what they do, because it's just the, it's just the beach and the car park and there's a cafe and a toilet and that's it. There's nothing there. So you have to book. You have to book to go, like to use the car park. So in the, there's plenty, so that they know there's plenty of room on the beach. Uh, just but not that it was exa exactly hot today, but you can go there and be sure of social distancing because they the limit. The limit how many they let in. Um, but yeah, there were about six people on the beach today, so it wasn't a problem. <laughs> What's about toilets, Angela? Any toilets? Yeah, yeah, yes, they've got toilets and open toilets and a mm. nice cafe as well. Very nice chips. Right. Oh. Um, What's the nearest town? <laughs> nearly normal. Yeah, very nearly, very nearly normal. Anybody What's else? the nearest town? Sorry? What's the nearest town? The town? I'm, I'm not, I don't know, to be honest. Huh. So, presumably, some area? Presumably West Wittering. Is there, is there a place called West Wittering? Yeah. Mm. And it's very small. <laughs> but uh, Yeah, okay, it's, it's not much of anything, but it's just the beach and the car park, and then you drive for a bit before you get to anything like, you know, a pub or anything like that. Have I disappeared? Yes, you have. Mm. Have you gone blue? Oh, blue on us. I've gone blue. <laughs> oh, oh, you have. <laughs> I just back. don't know why. I'm going to come it's out and just thank. come back in again. Press the button. Yeah, press the button. Oh, we don't want you to be blue, um, Simon. That Ooh, would be terrible. Okay. We've got Helen, we've got Kelly. Yeah, we've got yeah. Helen, we've got Kelly. Oh, Check us out. Oh, Carol Ben, she's meant to be coming as well, isn't she? Yeah, I spoke to her earlier. She said she is. She did have a headache, but she said she's still going to come, so. Just tell her there's some gooseberry jam at the end of it. Yes, sir, yeah, she raves about your gooseberry jam. That's what was it's... wrong? I didn't have a gin in my hand. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh that's Thought what it was, Simon. That was the problem. That was the I've got a drink, yeah. We've only just not long since got back in from the beach. <laughs> Still covered in sand. Cheers, Liz. Cheers, Simon. My yeah, oh, well, don't cheer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting on the drink. We're all organised, aren't we, Liz? Um, yeah, this is not fair. You guys have got a drink. I've got a glass of water. I think being the speaker, I thought I'd stick to tea. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? So yeah, so we're waiting on Carol. Oh, is right, she? Is. Right. Is Carol? Oh, there's right. Okay, we've got John. We've got Kelly. We've got right, Joe. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, gone. I can very nearly get my hair an elastic band at the back, and I've cut it once. Yeah. Hello, Carol. Hello, Sally. Carol. Hello. Hello, Helen. Hello. 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 Hello, darling. Hello, darling. How are you? Making gooseberry jam from this year's harvest. Excellent, looking forward to it. <laughs> oh, there's Carol and David. Hello, Carol and David. Hello. <laughs> we're eating, we've got, this is our dinner time. So oh, we're yeah, just... well, oh, well, we join <laughs> we've, got, we've got people with gin, with tea, you're all right, you're joining the club. <laughs> <laughs> we're missing <laughs> jam, Richard. Pardon? We're missing your gooseberry jam, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, well, I, I'm looking forward to it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Ross. Oh, Ross is here. There's Ross, yeah. Night, Ross. Hello. 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 Is that Mary? <laughs> is that Mary? Yes, Mary. Mary. Yeah. Mary. Hello. Somewhere there. Um, <laughs> Mary get the prize for being farthest away. Yeah. Hello, Kelly. Oh, Marilyn's hair. Looking good. Hello. Unlike mine, the state of this. You've got wings. You've got there. little sideburns now. Yeah. <laughs> awful. Let's go with my mullet. Not a problem. <laughs> Richard, you've got Dave's beard to match yours. Yes, I know. I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a first little problem. I, yeah. I, I, think mine is sli I think mine is slightly older than David's, though. Yeah. <laughs> is anybody else, Joe, or is this everybody? I've just sent you a message. Have you? Oh, what in the Have chat? I? Yeah, I'm so professional. Yeah, 
can have a oh, right. oh, of course, yes. I forgot about Roger. Well, to be fair, it's well, it's not it's just about well, Roger, it? yeah. yeah. It's we'll only three. Five. We'll give it five. If right uh, then. We have a couple of minutes. Yeah. All right then. Uh, Oops. Uh, they didn't know. Sandra. <laughs> Hello. What was that? That's <laughs> Graham and Tooney. So Maggie's turned up last night and now <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, she had yeah. yeah. forgotten today. Fine. No, 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 she's Fine. with us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, she made that Julie. <laughs> good. It's good. <laughs> How are you, Linda? <coughs> How are you? Good, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um I very good. I've got your agave ah, ready to bring around. I just haven't done it yet. Oh good. It will be re ready soon. Do you it is ready. Oh, Roger's right. here. Here's Roger. Roger. Oh, it's on audio. So now, apparently, um, Maggie Brunger and Chris Bolt. Who's Chris Bolt? Yeah. Uh, I don't even know Chris member. Bolt. Yeah, um, I don't know where from. I'm just messaging Maggie now. Okay. She, will, she, she was trying to get in half an hour ago. <laughs> Lesser, the I time know. difference, I was, think. It's a time difference, yeah. She's keen, so. anyway, she's keen. She's keen. She's, yeah, yeah. I was, she, she tried last night. <laughs> Let's send her the link again and then we'll see where oh, we get to. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. Good job I've got you. Hello, right, then, there we go. Let's see what we've got. Oh, very quiet. Yeah, well, yeah, isn't it? Serious stuff, you know. Ah, here's Maggie. It's got Maggie. Lovely. Right. Hello, Maggie. Right day, right time. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you get the prize, Maggie. <laughs> you made it. Right, okay. then. I'm going to then. Yeah. Shall we get started then? Yeah, let's get started. Yeah, okay. I'll, the, Joe and I will keep an eye on the, if anybody else. So we've got 20 in. Okay, so, um, don't be worry about where the toilets are, or where the fire exits are. You know all that stuff, don't you? Um, so, welcome, and um, thanks for uh, coming. Um, the language don't work really at all, does it, anyway? Well, thanks for coming online for the Civic Voices first virtual Civic Voice. um, event. If you want to try and get another one going, maybe a quiz. Yes, please. Think of a quiz. Somebody wants to put a quiz together, that would be grand. Um, so, a big, oh, hang on. Oh, oh, Tim Major. Somebody else. Didn't know he was coming. <laughs> I'll start again. Tim, hello. Hello, Tim. Hello, better late than never. Yeah, nice to see you, Tim. There he is. He's unmuted now. Say hello, Tim. Who is it? <laughs> Angela. Angela. Hiya. Right, we're just about to, to get started. Right, Tim. right, yeah. You got in just in time. I didn't even know you were coming. Glad to see you. Right. So, a big welcome then. As I said, we'll just say we don't need to worry about fire exits and toilets and uh, all of that stuff. Um, I'm sure you all know where they all are, where you are. Um, so a big welcome and thank you to Richard Wintle, um, I'll let him introduce himself. Richard did a talk for us uh, in the physical sense earlier this year in Central Community Centre um, about you know, his work, his photographs. So yeah, Richard published one book not long ago, didn't you? And he's got another one coming soon. Um, and so it's all about connections, isn't it, Richard? Connections between you know, his photographs and the stories and how they all linked together. Um, it's only about 20 minutes long, so we won't keep you from your wine or your gin and tonic or, well, Elizabeth and Simon have got theirs with them. I haven't and I'm furious. Um, so over to you, Richard, we'll get going. It's, it's 25 to. So remember what we have to do? We have to do the share screen. Yeah, well, uh, I, um, I'll introduce myself very quickly oh, yes, before we go sorry. to the share screen. Okay. Yeah. Um, Good evening, everybody, and thank you for sort of tuning in. Um, in, the, in the book, it actually says, uh, 
uh, health and safety require me to do and then dot 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 so uh, all that's been done um, the book was published would you believe just before lockdown so fundamentally this is probably the uh, the book launch no, well, we've uh, it that so, show. so we're, we'll look at that but it's also a little bit about um, what I've been doing when when I've been locked down is producing a, a second book it's not been proofed yet or, or completely finished so um, it's only a taster of what's to come but I'll now go on to a shared screen and let you see the show fantastic thank you very much Richard thanks for thank you all for coming um, can you see that you oh, sorry can you see that no I don't think we've shared anything no. yet okay well let's I can still see everybody. Right, let me let me try and sort this out. Hang on, technical problems. Not having done this before. Right, so I go to shared screen. Yeah. Share screen. And that should be all you need to do. Do we need to go on speaker view now? If, yeah. If no, Richard's speaking. I, I don't know. Talk to the experts. Um, Joe. Host disabled attendance right, screen I sharing. Yeah, well, that would be right. my screen. Angela, right. you probably need to switch to the switch the host to, to Richard. Yeah, right. Look. Host to Richard. Um, where is where is that? If you click on his image, you click should click on his image. The three dots top right. You oh, I've got you. Yeah. In there. Make host. Make host. Change host. There You've we go. You've been promoted, Richard. God, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you can see we know what we're doing, don't you? No. Yeah, well, hold on. Let's, ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. So if I go into that and I know go play, play on this Mac. Oh, hang on. No, go back. Go back. I'll get there in a second. Sorry about this, folks. It's all right. We're all right. I'm going to open the window. I'm glad to see someone like me doing this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not running away, I'm just opening a window. Right, now. hopefully. And you've got the sound bit that we did the other day as well, down at the bottom. Share the sound. Hang on, I'm trying to find it. <laughs> Sorry, just to harass you for... <laughs> Let's start again, shall we? Sorry about this. It's all right. Take right. your time, Richard. Um, Doesn't yeah. matter. No okay. ah, there Ooh. we go. Ooh. Yeah. Play oh. recorded slideshow. Now we can go. Well Ooh. done. Yeah, well. Wow. You've got no sound, Richard, lovely. There's no sound, Richard. There's no sound, Richard. Don't know why. Because when we share it at the bottom, when you do the share at, at the bottom left, there's a button, I think. It says share the sound as well. Let me go around and look a minute. I think. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I can't see Zoom. Hold on. You are sharing. Stop sharing. Share computer sound, got it. That, yeah, lovely. Oh, that was it. All right, yeah. should, we, should we try? Third time lucky, they say. Third time lucky. <laughs> wow, what a time to launch yeah. a book. Woo! Yes, indeed. And my book is called A Picture is Only the Start of the Story. It takes you on a trip through my archive. As a press photographer, I take pictures of life. And as an archivist of pictures, I store life stories. Stories that quite often have a theme. Stories, some happy, some sad. Some stories amaze people and some deflate egos. I have two million film images. About two million digital images. And many hours of broadcast video. The book starts when I first picked up a camera at the age of nine and takes you through the analogue age where pictures took hours to send to London and quite often it was easier to get on a train with the original prints and deliver them to the picture desks directly. 
the digital age when Photoshop produced a system by which we could send pictures quickly over the telephone line finishing in the modern age where images are instantly available the tour starts with the work with the closing of the rail works and the protests and the marches and the final day the final shift at the rail works and of course the final hooter blowing the tour finishes with Honda which surprisingly enough is in the modern age and of course pictures are instantly available and in colour answers the, to the question what connects the magic roundabout to the 60s group the seekers is answered in the book the lovely judith durham on stage at the wyvern and answers questions why were there 12 miss thamesdown winners in one competition whatever happened to some of our carnival queens amber beza for instance was a star of the Nick Heyman laundrette advertisement. And Katie Charman, another carnival queen, is now a royal gardener after her time as a model and presenting TV shows. And why was one of her daughter's pictures in the book? The book looks at Swindon culture, pop stars past and present. Justin Hayward, Moody Blues, photographed him many times. Jamie Cullen, again I photographed him many times. No Swindon story would be complete without Andy Partridge from XTC. Or Billy Piper, star of the Doctor Who series. new stars coming up on their way through the ranks winners of competitions and how I discovered a missing pop legend I would advise Swindon. you all to now I would advise you at this point to um, turn the volume down on your computer I'll give you a few seconds as it's rather loud You can turn the volume up now. Swindon artist Ken White has been recognised in the book. Which follows the tributes to Diana Dawes. The statue. The unveiling of the statue. And of course the recently installed blue plaque tells the story about how I managed to get exclusive images of 007 at the Renault building and at Motorola and of course an interview with Roger Moore no, I've, uh, I was told two days ago that they're going to announce this week uh, but they don't, they don't discuss it with me. I'm yesterday's uh, news. you yeah, original 007 in many people's minds. <laughs> uh, some, uh, th th those are, uh, are over 30, yes. What do you make of the past, the past newer films? Do you think they've, they've done the, the franchise justice? 
Uh, I thought that uh, Casino Royal was marvellous. I think that Daniel Craig is a superb actor. And uh, obviously, he's done two, they've been successful. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing a third. The late, great Roger Moore. And the book also covers visits by Bond girls to the Brunel Centre. As well as a Moonraker la shuttle landing at Fairford. Where, of course, they hold the world's largest air show, the Royal International Air Tattoo. Where we've seen royals wandering about. And it explains how young photographer Rachel Davis captured her prize-winning picture of the Apache display team. She also captured images of Prince George wearing a badge with the artwork of uh, Swindon artist David Bent. Right. The result of conflict is seen. In Hungerford, I witnessed the carnage created by Michael Ryan. And in Sarajevo, that war hit city. Where we battled with the French Foreign Legion to get a picture for the Wing Commander's Wall at RAF Bryce Norton. And we nearly lost a TV crew there too. Bryce Norton, we welcomed home the Welsh Guards after Bluff Cove in the Falklands. And we welcomed the hostages back to Lynham. We followed the last Swindon built Spitfire from start to finish. Oops. And we ask why a Eurovision Song Contest entrant was trying out a TriStar at Bryce Norton. And what's it like filling up fighters at 20,000 feet in one of the new Super Voyager aircraft? Why was a pop idol involved in a dogfight over Wharton one year? And what's happened to that airfield? The one where J Jensen Button did some donuts for us. Talking of Jensen Button, he was a Honda driver, and the Honda story is covered in the book from acquiring the airfield to saving the Honda March. Even the bishop couldn't help on that one. Thank you, COVID-19. You've done me a favour. Although I'm shielding and protected and not likely to be around for some time, at least you've enabled me to get on with book two. Another trawl through the archive. So what's in number two? <coughs> Take a bow, Lydia House and Park. You are sort of the centre of the book. And I keep coming back to you. And what's my most seen photograph? You've probably never seen it, but millions of people throughout the world have. Both Queen Elizabeths have visited Lydian House. And the question is answered why a Princess Diana fan made a big feature in the United States. I visit Swindon's more unusual museums and heritage sites some of which no longer exist and others you've probably never heard of and some are more famous than others. I follow the development of the steam museum in the neighbouring outlet village from the time that the locomotives were removed from the old museum, the opening of the new museum where they hold shows such as the brick show, concerts, and private photo shoots. This one was taken in the early 80s in the old museum. And this was one of the more modern ones in the new museum. Oh, yeah. And of course, who could forget the cosplay shows that have been put on there? And also Swindon remembers. It was a tribute to the fallen in the First World War.
and the election count at the end of 2019. Pictures from Steam appeared in the Guardian and Telegraph, again transmitted instantly from the scene. I follow the development of the uh, outlet village. It started off with a big parade, which probably many people have forgotten. I saw the locomotives being moved into the food hall and the opening of the long shop. Also, some funny shows that they put on there, some funny demonstrations. I discover Allborn's love of films and reveal how a New York ballet star is connected with Doctor Who. Yes, John Pertwee and his Daleks appeared on the green. And the Blue Boar pub took centre stage when an old picture from World War II reunited the pub with a veteran. And why Thatching hit the headlines? I visit the Swindon Festival of Literature and meet a local author and find out why two gentlemen were discussing a police drama. I also reveal how my father-in-law, a blue plaque and an atomic bomb are connected. And what was Saltskitter's role in the Cold War? I think you'd be surprised. We covered two funerals and a wedding that made national news, but not very much locally. I visited the Wyvern Theatre with its pantos, with people like Ian Lavender and Helen Shapiro with Bernie Winters and Schnorbitz with Norman Vaughan and Jess Conrad and of course Linda Lasardi in a production at the Wyvern Theatre where her daughter was in a production in the pantomime with Nigel Havers. Mind you, there's been some funny photo calls at the Wyvern too. The book visits the home of a music revolution that took place in Swindon and meets an anti-hero in the same location. I follow the restoration of Lydiard House with a picture of a portrait of Diana. That's Lady Diana Spencer, the old Lady Diana Spencer. And the restoration within the church and on the outside of the house. Follow some of the events held there as well. It may be a, a good opportunity to hold a competition to guess who the, uh, the pop stars are. I'm sure that most people will get that one. And of course, Charlotte Church appeared there in 2000. Did you know we had a balloon fiesta at, uh, at Lydiard? Well, we did. And there's also some events held there that attracted royal patronage.
Take a bow, Lydia at House and Park. Signed copies of the book, A Picture is Only the Start of the Story, can be obtained from my website. That's calixpix.com. For £14.95 plus £2.50 package and postage. I'm sorry about the package and postage, but due to the current COVID-19 situation, posting is the best way of doing this. And one pound from every sale of the book goes to the Neuroendocrine Cancer UK Foundation. Uh, the, the reason I'm doing this is because I've got neuroendocrine cancers on my lungs and that's the reason I'm shielding. Thank you very much for your time and uh, I've no doubt that uh, this Zoom system will enable us to do some questions. Thank you, Richard. Mm. That's great, thank you. Right, um, I want to know about the weddings and the funeral. Yeah, can you stop sharing that or do you want to leave it? No, I'm just trying to, trying to work out how to do it. I think you have to go to unstop sharing. It. I know. <clears throat> On what? Stop share. Stop sharing. You, share. you know the bottom when you went to share, you now stop share. Stop videos. Oh, it's here somewhere. Along End the meeting now. Blind leading the blind, isn't it, Richard? It is, yeah, definitely. If I just click on that, probably you'd do it. Uh, uh, anyway, go on, carry on. Anyway, okay, we can ask anyway. It's along the bottom. You see, we you know where there's the green thing. It's where you go to share. I think you yeah. click that and then that stops share. Got it. That's it. It's at the top. Got it. I'm back with Brilliant. you. Brilliant. Right. Well done. Okay. Any questions? Go on, Lady. Because somebody go. I've got one. I just want to know about the weddings and the funeral that made the national news, but not not local. <laughs> it, it, it's, quite, it's quite funny because. Uh, there was it, the, the the funeral, the first funeral was the uh, um, it was an Irishman, a very prominent politician. Mm -hmm. I won't go into any more detail, mm -hmm. but it was it was a, a very prominent politician that fell from grace. Um, that the story would would make a, a good uh, Mills and Boone actually. Oh right. Yeah. Uh, uh, the other funeral was the uh, if you look on the. If you look in or Google it, it was the Filey murders, um, where the, um, the the landlord of a pub was murdered by his wife and lover. Uh, he was buried in uh, in Morton, and the, the wedding was obviously James Hunt, who married a local girl. Oh, of course, the, yeah, the, yeah. the F one driver. Yeah, yeah, I recognised him. Yeah, cool. So many stories. Anybody else want to ask anything? R Richard. How, how much of a difference did it make to your work when digital photography sort of came in? It's a quantum leap. Um, it caused a lot of problems, to say the least. Film, <coughs> slow, um, reliable, but you didn't know what you were getting. But it's easy to store. If you look behind me, you'll see books, you know, hundreds of books of, um, of negatives. With digital, you can't store it. It's very difficult to store. And a lot of the uh, the images that I took between 2000 and 2010 are on CDs that are disintegrating. So, you know, I've lost a lot of the archive through that. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, technology's caught up. Discs, um, hard drives and hubs are becoming cheaper. I've just installed an 80 terabyte hub to house this lot. Or how's the digital yeah, side of it? So yes, you know it's um, you know it, it was a change. It was a, it was a completely different way of photographing, and um, it took a bit of took a bit getting used to. And uh, I I do believe we have your um, first digital camera at the Museum of Computing. You have we'll have one of my first because I actually bought two. So you've got you've got one of them, and I've still got one here as a spare. Fantastic. Um, yeah, it's, you know, c compared to the modern camera phone, it, it's, it was very poor quality. 
I mean, I'm putting pictures up now from several of the pictures on there were from from it, and uh, you know, the, the the mobile phone pictures are better now are better than that than that was. Yeah. That's amazing. It's interesting to see that you've got all your film in uh, um, books behind you. Are they not decaying like the, the, the film versions are gone with the wind and they've had to restore all, all of those? Will that eventually start to melt away? Are you <laughs> going to digitise it? I am. Yeah, but when you've got two million negatives to digitise, I can tell you it's quite a, quite a task. Mm. Uh, plus the fact that you're having to do current stuff as well um yeah some of them are because they're not fit because the way the press operated is we had to be quick so you know it was uh, as soon as the film was clear you you washed it dried it sometimes using something like methylated spirits and setting it on fire just to dry it um and driving down the road with it with it hanging out the window that we've done that before now um you know so you know, yes, the films were treated quite badly, and some of them are are disintegrating through that. But most of the colour stuff that we've got, especially the stuff that was machine processed, last 50, 60 years. Do you have a preference, Richard, for how it used to be with an old-fashioned film or or the modern methods with digital? They both have their advantages. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah it, I miss I miss going into a dark room. We'll put it that way. Yeah, Sitting yeah. at a computer screen and playing with Photoshop is is not uh, is not as therapeutic as going into the dark room and getting your hands wet. No. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think it's the same experience particularly. You know, you don't sort of sit and look at photos on your laptop, do you? Like you did with you know with the photo album. Um, uh, no, I mean you know. As I said, I've got I've got quite a few pictures here to look at, and you looking at them through uh, through pit glasses and things like that. Yeah, um, no, it, 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 it the move to digital had to come. Yeah, I predicted it for about ten years. We even tried, and and I might if I can actually get the pictures into the book, um, dig out the pictures that were taken on a very on a on a very prototype Canon, which used analog discs to um to capture images and we were we actually went down to the jet ski lake which was at uh, 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 uh water parks and mm. did some photographs of other reporters and photographers enjoying themselves yeah, yeah. and we sat from the from the jet ski lake up to the blunston house and that was the first time that sort of can i put in inverted commas digital photography was we, we used was that right. the canon ion i think it was before the canon ion actually oh right wow yeah. All I know is that we tried we tried it out at um, at Selhurst Park when Swindon played there in a, a semi final of the match and we we became rather unstuck. But that's another story. How did you end up in Sarajevo? <laughs> um, the, the, uh, through the, uh, the the proverbial battle between uh, Lynham and Bryce Norton. Uh, to see who could get the biggest coverage and the most publicity. The two press officers there used to have a battle to see who could win. And um, Bryce Norton invited a, a team of us to go over to, uh, to Sarajevo to pick up the first troops, or some uh, 100 troops. We went out on a VC-10. The VC-10 was loaded to the gunnels with fuel because they couldn't stop. They couldn't refuel in Sarajevo. So we flew out to, um, to Sarajevo, landed. We had an hour on the tarmac with, um, with, the engine, with one engine running. They, they couldn't stop the engines because they never get it started again. And we flew back through, I think, it Ancona in Northern Italy, the RAF, the American base up there, refueled there and then flew back into Germany and then up that way. But as I say, it was, it was one of these things, one of these battles with, um, as I say, the, the two the two uh, uh, press officers, public relations officers up there, were, used to battle to see who could get the most coverage. Yeah, I've got another question. As we, Go on, um, oh, it's about Riyadh and and David's artworks and stuff. And I just wondered how many Riyads have not that I've ever been, which is quite terrible. But anyway, how many Riyads have you been to? How many Riyads have you photographed? I couldn't count them, but you must remember that. <coughs> sorry, you must remember that in the seventies and eighties, 
the USAF were operating, similar to they do now, I believe, out of Fairford. Mm. And they used to have a U United States Air Force Open Day. And eventually that was um, every two years. And in the intermediate years was the, Royal, was the International Air Tattoo. Mm. That was before it got its royal status. Um, but, you know, uh, uh, Pretty well every year. I missed last year's, obviously, because of, sorry, I, I missed last year's because I was in hospital. But um, I've pretty well covered everyone up until then. Okay, that's a lot then. That's, a that's lot. quite a lot. That's quite an achievement, really, isn't it? I've got quite a few. Re I've got quite a few people who attended there. You know, there was um, David Jason, um, the princes, pop stars. They've all been there. Uh -huh. come over Tim Peake was there last year yes. uh, Rachel got him <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was that's brilliant anybody else uh, Richard what's the most emotional photo you've taken or the one that was emotional to you as you were taking it's, 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 it's very difficult because you're looking at events through a camera so you, you 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 don't tend to feel emotional. It, it's 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 an odd feeling. It's an odd situation. Um, you know, I suppose Hungerford, bodies in cars, but you were doing a job. So you you put your camera up to your eye. You look in tunnel vision, taking pictures. Um, funerals, several funerals. Um, yeah, you know, I, I I couldn't honestly tell you. As I said, it, it it's. It, it, it becomes part of the job and you, you, you don't, um, you look at the pictures when you get back to the office. Can I ask that, a if, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yes, a question? yes it does. Yes. Richard, can I ask you a question? Yes. Yeah, Richard, um, clearly, you know, your career as a, a press photographer was, you know, like the most kind of important and, you know, you, you said at the beginning that you got an archive of two million images. Now, what kind of percentage of those two million images were not your press photography, that maybe were your more personal view of the world? Well, all of them are personal view of the world. It doesn't matter what job you go on. Mm -hmm. um, you interpret it as, as you see it. So, uh, it, very rarely, um, but outside of the parameters of of the of, of the brief. <laughs> well, yeah, but the pro the problem is with press photography, you don't get a brief. You turn up at a job, you know, it might be Hungerford. You know, you, you, yeah. you're okay. you're supposed to stand in line, but we found an alleyway. We went up the alleyway. Mm. We got pictures. Um, so that the brief changed. You know, you, you go to Sarajevo. Uh, were we expecting to get to the top of the control tower? No, we weren't, but we did. Again, the brief changes. Um, yeah, I suppose the, the nearest to to um, a brief one in the book probably is is the return of the hostages where we were penned. So you hadn't got a choice. You know, you had to go with with what was there. Royal visits the same, mm -hmm. but you know, if you're if you're on rotor at a royal visit, you you can interpret it how you want. Um, no, it's it, it's very difficult to say that that, um, that you know it's not. I mean, some of the pictures obviously used. I mean, my staff photographers had about four or five staff photographers, and they've come in. Several of them have gone on to greater things, but you know, again, they interpret it how they see it. I can look at a picture and say, "Oh, that's one of Neil's pictures," mm. or I can look at a picture and say, um, "That's Darren's." Mm. You know, especially sport ones. I mean, there's a lovely story about with, with Darren. Um, we used to, as Ross will know, we, we used to have to go and um, pick up the film after 10 minutes, dash it up to the office and process it from the county ground when Swindon were in the, in the, pre, in the what is now the Premier League. Um, and when I went round, picked the, picked the film up from the other photographers. There were about four or five out. And Darren said to me, he said, I think I've got a good celebration picture. Well, if Darren said he'd got a good celebration picture, I thought, well, that, that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll tag that film. So I, I tagged the film 
um, I ripped a corner of it so that we knew which was Darren's film, put it through the processor first. And when I looked at the pictures, I said, right, that's it. Nobody else is going to make a picture today from this match. And true enough, every back page, pretty well every back page of the Sunday papers had Darren's picture on. Mm. So, you know, it, it's a, your personal interpretation um, but it's, in, just, it's just, you know, that, that's what happens. Yeah, but in, but in your spare time or yeah. in secret, you haven't over the years been, <laughs> you know, documenting the, the Wiltshire countryside or... Uh, no, I mean, it, it, it's quite funny. My, my personal picture collection is, is minute. Okay. Um, <laughs> it really is. My wife always complains that she's all the, who's the one that's taking the pictures. Um, you know, especially now she's got a mobile phone. I mean, my mobile phone is pretty well non-existent. You know, I mean, I've got, you know, 100 pictures on the mobile phone. So, you know, no, okay. is, is the answer to that. I'm, can I ask us? I'm interested in um, how you catalogue everything and how you cross-reference and <laughs> what you remember. Um, and, you know, pictures are so powerful that as soon as you see one, you remember where you were and who, what, but with two million? Or four million. I, I wonder. This is, this is this is one of this is one of the problems, and this is one of the great joys about doing the book, is that I, I lay out the story, especially in book two. I've noticed it more than in book one. But you lay out a story. You lay out a storyline. Every every author tells me that you know you have a plan. Well, my plan sort of. Uh, starts out as a as a circle on a large piece of paper and little bits like COVID coming off the top of it um, with with notes saying you know go from there to there to there to there to there because I remember those stories. When I'm looking through the negatives, I, hang on a minute, that's a good one, and you pull it out. So the whole thing changes, and a lot of the reason is that the jobs were catalogued um, up till. The, tw the 14th of December 1999, when we went digital, um, were catalogued in a book with um, title, reference, and what the job was. Uh, so, you know, you're looking down the index and then things trigger what it is. Oh, well, hang on, that job says you know, it, it was a show, but hang on, I remember that there were actually some aircraft at that show. So you, you then go to the negatives and then that builds another story up. When we went digital, um, not initially, but as um, Simon will know, uh, progressively over the years, the use of metadata uh, creeping into the back of pictures has become. So nowadays it's much easier because you just, caption them you put the metadata in and you know your computer finds it so you can put in a whole load of things in the metadata or a load of taglines a load of keywords and they'll come up but no it, it it's it's been it's proved it's proved quite an interesting voyage because as i said you know pictures negatives have come up you know you turn over a page and think oh you know that 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 job i remember that one that's better than the one i've got now so yeah, it, how do I catalogue it? Um, it is catalogued. I'm producing a database, but uh, there's still a lot to be found. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I can imagine it. It would. God, I can't. I can't find my photos. And <coughs> a few dozen, let alone two million. Well, I'd, I'd be fine pulling them out. It's putting them all back again after I finish with them. That would drive me nuts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that would be the hard part. That's brilliant. <laughs> Anybody else? Would it be fair to say that you probably have the most complete archive of photography for this area, for Swindon and Wiltshire, because of your, both your role with the papers, but also your wider role? Would that be a fair thing? No, it wouldn't. I mean, there, there are, mine is probably the, um, the best collection of media for this immediate area but you've yeah. got people like trevor porter down in in trowbridge you've got alan lockyer down in somerset you've got um people down in salisbury 
and that they've all got their own archives and they've mm. all got and some of them specialize i mean Lockie of specializes in cricket he's got you know somerset cricket yeah but um, i mean in swindon richard yeah in, in swindon yes probably in swindon but as i said wiltshire no no, no there's, there's, there's other collections in Wiltshire. But I mean, you know, if you look at Roy Nash's pictures of the railway, I mean, I have got very little of the railway. Mm. So, you know, it, it all depends on what subject matter you're, you're sure. taking. And can I ask what you intend to do with your archive after you kick your mortal <laughs> clog, so to speak? <laughs> what, what, am I going, what am I going to do with it? Um, yes. The... Um, <laughs> The archive at Chippenham um, are, are desperate to get their hands on it, apparently. All oh, right, excellent. So uh, I'm told that there's a transit waiting to take it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully go one way and your pictures go another. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I think my wife would be very glad to get rid of them, actually. <laughs> All right, any, any others? Any I was going to say that when you said earlier about you, Richard's got the best archive. Um, I, most I, complete. Yeah, well, I, I was going to say if, it, if it's happened in, if, if Richard wasn't there in the last 40 years in Swindon, it didn't actually happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was going to say, I was going to say for the, except for the last year, um, I mean, I did have a call from the, uh, the Sun picture desk the, the other day relating to the shooting in West Swindon. And as I'm sure, I said, no, sorry, I, just, I can't go. I mean, I just, I'm yeah. just not able to go. So that, that, that got missed. So over a big, period, big brother concept, Graham. Sorry? That's a big brother, George Orwell, big <laughs> concept. <laughs> it, it, he was, he's there. It the past <laughs> never actually <laughs> happened. Are we writing history need a, here? You need a drone, that's what you need, so you can take off and land back <laughs> yeah. in, in your back garden. Mm. You can if you do it all from your place. desk. If you had this, is, I know this is an impossible question, but if you had to save like a handful of them, you just had, do you, is there, I know this is probably a stupid question, but it, is the one that you go, this is the one, you know, this would be. What picture? Yeah. Impossible. Impossible. Because, yeah. you know, if, 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 if I'm sat watching, if I'm sat in, um, you know, in the garden with a glass of wine, it'll be one picture. If I'm sat, sat in the rain inside with a beer, it's probably another, um, <laughs> you know, or a bar of chocolate, it's, it's another one. So, you yeah, know, it, it, it all depends on mood, what it takes. Cool. Um, mm. Okay, because we've just got a, a few minutes left. Anybody out before, you know, it kicks us off, because I timed it. Has anybody else got anything before I... Uh, I was going to say that... Um... Rich has told me a lot of stories over the years about his pictures. And the one I like probably best is the, the, the picture that you didn't get of Michael Ryan. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that would make you a very, very rich man if you well, had it. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be probably here doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that like a fisherman's story? The one that no, was... no, it's, uh, it, was, it was one of those, it was, it was a, a, a photo, the, Michael, the Michael Ryan picture, um, the only people that made money out of it were the Newbury Weekly News. And that was because their freelance photographer attended a photo call very shortly after um, Peter DeSavery took over Little Coat. And he got a picture of DeSavery and some workmen in the background. And one of those workmen was Michael Ryan. Now, for some reason, I didn't go on that photo call whether I was doing something else or not I don't know I can't remember what it was but in my diary there's a cross beside it that we didn't attend so um, the money that they were asking they were asking um, £10,000 a picture per use of the Michael Ryan image and that went around the world so you can imagine how much uh, a certain paper made from that uh, you, you, you mentioned money yes if you got a pound for each of those two million images, then you're obviously a very rich man, Richard. I would, I would, I would love, I would love to think that uh, it's four million actually, and video. So you okay. know, but no, it, it doesn't quite work like that, unfortunately. I'm sure it doesn't. Okay, is anybody else? Well 
That was great. I just want to say thanks to everybody um, for coming along. Um, Richard put this together at short notice because I was keen to get something out there because, as you know, there's a tiny bit of a pandemic happening out there. And so having any physical meetings um, or talks or whatever are clearly not going to be possible for quite some time. Who knows? I'm certainly not rushing to be in, in groups of people, that's for sure, because I'm also shielding. Um, so this was a bit of an experiment. So I hope it's been OK. And I'd like to get another one or two things out over the summer. If anybody's got any ideas, um, do, t do tell us. You know, if you've got something that you could do a talk on or a quiz um, about, you know, something Swindon related would be good, but it didn't particularly have to be, really. Um, as long as it's not about gin and tonics. I don't know anything about gin and tonics. <laughs> or Elizabeth, for that matter. I absolutely don't <laughs> know about gin and tonic, okay? Why? Well, I might stand a chance. Um, but yeah, just to say thanks, and I say it was a bit of an experiment, just get something out there because we can't do anything uh, physical, um, you know, where we've got people that are supporting us, have paid money to be members, and I've, I felt really strongly that we should get something out there and do something. It doesn't suit everybody, I mean some people are really, you know, love all this, I don't mind it one way or the other. Um, it saves a lot of effort, setting up chairs in a room. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, you know, because it's plus one. We don't have to make tea either, Julie. Nobody, <laughs> nobody has to make tea and wash cups. Yay! So, you know, it's all good. Um, so thanks again to Richard for all that. I think, shall we, shall we declare um, your the first of your books well and truly launched? I would think that's right. And don't forget, go and get it. Mm. Yay! <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And support, supporting a great cause um, while you're at it. So yeah, if you've got any ideas, um, you know, you know where to where to find us all and to get in touch. I'd, I'd really like to do a couple more at least over the summer. Um, then maybe by the autumn, the situation might be a bit different. <coughs> Don't know. Who knows? Okay. So thanks a lot for coming. Thank and you. thanks, Richard. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank, you. thank you. Thank you for everybody for coming and listening. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, th thanks a lot. Speak to you all soon. Brilliant. Bye. 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 Bye.